Hi friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to another new series that I'm going to be having on my channel moving forward. I know a lot of you don't know how to use your kitchen gadgets effectively, your instant pot, your air fryer, your crock pot. So I wanted to produce some videos that showed you how not only to use your kitchen appliance, but also how you can make amazing, delicious, family friendly and fast recipes. So this series is all about the air fryer. Now I don't have the basket style air fryer that a lot of you have. I actually have the oven style. So mine actually has racks that go into it essentially just like an oven. But the concepts are the same no matter what type of air fryer that you have. So this is a new series that you're going to see on my channel moving forward. So tonight I'm going to be showing you two air fryer recipes. I'm gonna be showing you two dinner recipes that are easy and come out amazing in your air fryer. So if you wanna see the two dinner recipes that I have for this very first episode of Dinners in the Air Fryer, all you have to do is keep watching. So our first air fryer recipe is going to be homemade air fried fish sticks. Super excited for this. My husband and I love fish sticks, but they are typically so high in points, even the reduced fat versions. So I am super excited to make homemade low point deep fried in the air fryer fish sticks. So let me show you everything that is in tonight's dinner, including what is in the sauce that we're going to be making. So the first thing that you're going to need is some fish of your choice. I'm going to go ahead and use this wild caught cod. This is skinless fish, which is the best option. So you don't have to remove the skin before preparing the fish sticks. You're also going to need some eggs, some breadcrumbs, cooking spray, Dijon mustard, parsley, paprika, Old Bay seasoning. And then for your sauce, you'll need some nonfat Greek yogurt, light mayo, capers, salt, pepper, chives, and a fresh lemon. So let's get started on our fish sticks. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and get our sauce put together, and then we're simply going to set that aside. So what I have here is I've measured out on my food scale one quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Here I have three tablespoons of light mayo, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I also measured out one tablespoon of capers. You want to make sure your capers are drained. Also, one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And then we're going to do one tablespoon of diced or chopped up chives. Lastly, we'll go ahead and add some black pepper and some salt and our sauce will be made and we'll just go ahead and set that aside while we finish up the fish. Here's our completed sauce. It looks delicious. It smells really good. So I am just going to go ahead and toss this in the refrigerator while we get our fish sticks ready and cooked. This is actually the sauce that we'll be dipping our fish sticks in. So best served in the refrigerator as you prepare the rest of your dinner. So the first thing that you need to do is grab your one pound of fish. We're going to cut this in two inch by one inch strips. Essentially, you just wanna make fish sticks or fish strips out of your whatever fish that you've chosen. So I'm gonna do that out of my cod and then we'll be ready to get them breaded and in the air fryer. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our breadcrumbs to a bowl. I don't quite have one cup, which I think is going to be just fine for breading the chick or the fish. So we'll set that aside. And then into our other bowl here, we're gonna go ahead and add in our three egg whites. Sorry, I did get a little yolk in there. It happens. We're also going to add in our half of a squeezed lemon. We're gonna add in some Dijon mustard. So about a tablespoon or so of Dijon mustard. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in some paprika. And lastly, some salt and some pepper. And then we are good to go with our liquid and our bread. And then we're going to mix this together and get ready to bread our fish sticks. In our breadcrumbs, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some of our smoked paprika. 
So just a little bit to season those breadcrumbs. This is where we also are going to add in our Old Bay seasoning. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that. This seasoning smells amazing. I've actually never bought this before, so I was excited to have a new seasoning on hand to use. And then we're also going to add in some parsley. And we're gonna give that a quick mix. And then our breading and our liquid are done for us to get our fresh fish nice and breaded. So this looks super delicious. Next, we're ready to bread our fish pieces. So you're gonna take one of your pieces of fish, dredge it in the egg mixture, and then you're going to dredge that into the bread crumbs. And then that will go on into your air fryer basket or onto your prepared pan, however, or whatever type of air fryer that you have. So you're just going to repeat that process until all of your fish sticks are ready to go into the air fryer, and then we will be ready to get them cooking. So honestly, super fast, super easy dinner. So this is just the messy part, is just getting them all nice and breaded to go into the air fryer, but they look absolutely delicious and you can't beat the points value on these fish sticks. So I'm gonna get all my fish nice and ready to go and then we'll get these into the air fryer. So this is the air fryer that I have. I actually have the power oven elite the power air fryer i really like this it is more of an oven style so you can see that it has a drip tray and some racks so we're going to go ahead and put our fish on the racks we'll get this started and get this cooking i actually have this air fryer linked in my amazon store which is down in the description box below it is just black they discontinued the red shortly after i purchased mine but I love my air fryer. You can cook rotisserie chicken in here. It's, it's pretty darn amazing. So let me get the racks in and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll get everything started. Here are our fish sticks. They look delicious. So essentially you're gonna put it on this rack and then we're just gonna go ahead and stick it on the top shelf of our air fryer. I'll grab the other rack and then we'll get it cooking. But this air fryer truly is amazing and the food comes out so good. So I ran out of breadcrumbs. Remember I said I didn't quite have one cup, which is fine. So I took the raw pieces of fish, sprinkled a little salt and Old Bay seasoning on them. Those pieces will be zero points other than the sauce. So I'm going to get this going. So we're going to go ahead and shut our oven door or our air fryer door. The controls look very similar to your standard air fryer. We're going to go ahead and set this at 400 and it's automatically gonna set it for 15 minutes. We'll watch it, and if we need some additional time, we can keep it going a little bit longer. But I like that this air fryer also has a light so that you can see your food cooking, which is actually a really nice feature. So I'll be back in 15 minutes, and we'll show you what these fish sticks turn out like and the rest of tonight's dinner. So here is my completed air fryer fish stick dinner. I am super excited. Look at these fish sticks. They look amazing. All of these fish sticks are four smart points, and that includes up to two tablespoons of the mix for the dip. So similar to a tartar, it is so good. That tanginess from the lemon and the capers, and then that oniony flavor from the chives is amazing. I'm going to pair that with just some carrots, with some spray butter, and some salt and pepper. So this entire dinner is a total of five smart points, and that is just for the fish sticks and the dipping sauce. I highly recommend making this recipe. The fish sticks are super good. So for tonight's air fryer dinner, I am really excited about this. It is going to be super easy to put together, but absolutely delicious. So I am going to be making bacon wrapped chicken pieces that we're going to cook in our air fryer. So to do that, you're going to need some chicken breast. You're also going to need some regular bacon, turkey bacon, whatever you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and use this Kirkland regular bacon. It is one smart point per slice. And then I'm going to dip mine in the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce in hickory. I love this barbecue sauce. So that is what is in my bacon wrapped chicken pieces. I'm super excited. I'm going to 
pop some cauliflower gnocchi into my air fryer. I've actually never tried this. So I thought since we were doing an air fryer video and gnocchi is supposed to be served crunchy, it's best tasting that way. I'm going to pop this in my air fryer along with our bacon wrapped chicken and we will have some gnocchi. And then I'm going to have some broccoli florets. I'll pop these in the microwave towards the end of cooking. So let's get started putting these bacon wrapped chicken pieces together and then we'll get everything into our air fryer. So the first thing that we need to get started is we need to cut up our chicken. I'm going to be making mine into two inch by two inch squares. And then we are going to slice our bacon and wrap it around our chicken pieces. And then we'll be ready to put those into the air fryer. After you've cut your chicken into your smaller pieces, go ahead and cut your slices of bacon in half. And essentially you're going to take half of a slice of bacon and we're just going to wrap it around our piece of chicken. And then we're going to put that onto our air fryer sheet. Mine actually have racks. So mine's gonna go onto the rack. Yours would go directly into your air fryer basket. And then we're just going to repeat that until all of our pieces of chicken are wrapped in bacon. I am not adding any additional spices only because I think the bacon is going to give it a delicious flavor. And then I will be dipping it in the barbecue sauce. You are welcome to add spices if you want, but honestly, I think the smokiness of the bacon is going to be enough. So I'm gonna get these all wrapped and then we'll be ready to pop them and our gnocchi into the air fryer. Once you get all your pieces of chicken wrapped with your bacon, if you have a toothpick, I would recommend that you use it and just skewer all your pieces. That just helps ensure that the bacon stays wrapped to the chicken pieces. The toothpicks are completely fine to put into the air fryer. I probably should have actually done that prior to putting them on my air fryer sheet. So pro tip after trial and error, make sure you put your toothpicks in before you add your chicken to your air fryer sheet or your air fryer basket. So I'm gonna get these all poked through with a toothpick and then we're ready to put our gnocchi on a pan or into your air fryer. I'll show you what I'm going to season that with and we'll get our dinner going into the air fryer. Next, we're ready to get our cauliflower gnocchi ready to go into the air fryer. Again, this is what it looks like from Trader Joe's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my nonstick cooking spray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my gnocchi. This will not only brown it, but it will also help the rest of my seasoning stick to it. I'm going to add some of the Trader Joe's onion salt. I love this onion salt. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, this is the one item that I literally could not live without is my onion salt. I love it. And then I'm also going to add just a tiny bit of Parmesan cheese, not enough to even count as points, but I'm just going to give a quick sprinkle over the top of my cauliflower gnocchi, and then it is ready to go into the air fryer along with our chicken bites. Next, we're gonna get everything loaded into our air fryer. So again, I have the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite. So mine is definitely more like an oven. So I will be loading up my chicken wrapped in bacon first. Look at how good that looks, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that here on the top shelf of the air fryer. And then from there, I'll be adding in my gnocchi so there is my cauliflower gnocchi and i'm gonna actually put that on the second shelf into the air fryer so that is what mine looks like my air fryer of course is linked in my amazon store we will get this started i think i'm gonna do 400 degrees and i'm gonna do that for about 20 minutes because we are cooking chicken so there you have it it is ready to get cooking there is our delicious food turn my light on there you have it. I will be back with the magic of YouTube to show you our dinner. I just pulled everything out of the air fryer. Look at how delicious this looks. So here are the bacon wrapped chicken pieces. They came out amazing. And look at this cauliflower gnocchi. Super excited about that with that Parmesan on there. Yum. So I'm going to plate up my dinner and I'll be back to show you my completed dinner as well as the points. 
So here is tonight's completed dinner. Look at how amazing this looks. So here I have one serving of the air fried cauliflower gnocchi. This is one cup for four smart points. I have some broccoli with a little bit of spray butter, salt, and pepper. I have six pieces of the bacon wrapped chicken. It is one smart point for two pieces, and that is counting for the one slice of bacon that is split between two pieces. So my bacon chicken is three smart points. I have one tablespoon of G Hughes barbecue sauce, which I'm going to dip my chicken in, super excited. So my dinner is only a total of seven smart points for all of this food, seven smart points. Thank you for joining me on my very first ever episode of my new air fryer recipe videos. I'm so excited to share these with you guys. I know that a lot of you ask for air fryer recipes. We're gonna do a little bit of everything. We're gonna do some breakfast, some lunches, some dinners, and even some desserts. So definitely keep your eye out for future air fryer recipes videos coming down the pipe. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Both the fish sticks and the bacon wrapped chicken pieces were so delicious. We love fish sticks and they are extremely high in points. So I was very excited to find a recipe that I could tweak and modify and make WW friendly, basically deep fried in the air fryer fish sticks that were amazing. And those bacon wrapped chicken bites, everything's better with bacon. Those were delicious and extremely low points. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload. I do try to upload most days of the week. So there's a lot happening here. So make sure you hit that little notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know if you're gonna try some of the air fryer recipes that I shared with you today. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.